Here we have 9.8, the composition of two rational functions. So it says find f of g and then find its domain in interval notation. So it says it wants f of g. So that's f of g of x, which means f of 11 over x, which means 1 over 11 over x minus 4. Okay. Now, remember, we'll simplify this. Um, if I simplify this, I have to multiply everybody by the common denominator. So I get x over, those are gone, 11 minus 4x. Okay, and that's as far as I can simplify it. So the inside function was g. So we need to find the domain of g to figure out what the potential domain is. And since g is a fraction, we know that that denominator cannot equal 0. So then my interval is going to be from negative infinity to 0, and then from 0 to positive infinity. This is my potential domain of domain of g, of, or f of g g being the inside function. Why do we always use the inside function? Because that's the first inputs that you start with, and then those inputs get plugged into g to get outputs, and then those outputs get plugged into f to get final outputs, right? So this is the, the x values that will lead to some outputs of g. Now, whether or not those outputs of g lead to a final output is what we have to consider when we look at this simplified version. Okay, so now looking at this simplified version, I know that that denominator cannot equal 0, which means 11 cannot equal positive 4x, or 11 over 4 cannot equal x. Which means out of this interval, I now need to remove this value, which means my domain is going to be negative infinity to 0, then from 0 to 11 over 4, and then from 11 over 4 to positive infinity. And why is it 0 first and then 11 over 4? Because on the number line, 0 is here and a positive number would be to the right of it. Okay? And so now you have this section, this section, and this section to talk about. Okay? So now let's go ahead and look at part B. So part B, they still want the same thing, f of g of f. So f of g of x, which is f of 13 over x plus 3, which is 3 over 13 over x plus 3 plus 4. If I multiply by the common denominator x plus 3, I get 3x plus 9 over 13 plus 4x plus 12. And then if I simplify that, I get 3x plus 9 over 4x plus 25. Okay. And so uh, the main part, the inside function I have to consider first because those are where the potential domain comes from. So I've got to look at the domain of g. Well, I know that that fraction, the denominator cannot equal zero which means that x cannot equal negative 3. So the potential domain is going to be negative infinity to negative 3 and then negative 3 to infinity. And if I want to know what the domain of f of g is, I have to then consider this final output or expression for the outputs. Is there anybody bad in here that have to be removed from this interval? Yes, because we know that that denominator, again, cannot equal 0, okay? Which means 4x cannot equal negative 25, and x cannot equal negative 25 over 4. Now here, what the heck is negative 25 over 4? That's about um, 6, negative 6.25. So if negative 3 is here, negative... 25 over 4 is over there on the left, okay? And that's important to know which one's on the left and which one's on the right. Otherwise, your domain will be incorrect. So it would have been negative infinity to negative 3, but now i got to remove this guy as well. So now we have two values that are gone. So it's going to be from negative infinity to negative 2, 5 over 4. Then in the middle, 2, 5 over 4 and negative 3. 
And then the final interval, three to infinity. I know I got kind of squished in there, but it is three to infinity, negative three to infinity, okay? And this is the final domain for the function.